Lloyd, thanks for the time, man. How are you? No problem. Doing good. How are you? And I bet you are doing good. I'm doing well as well. Thank you, man. Uh, every, you were all the rage at the Senior Bowl, man. Everybody seemed to be talking about you. From your perspective, how did the week in Mobile go? Uh, I feel like it was a good, you know, productive week. I wanted to go out there and, you know, showcase my talents and, you know, so, uh, kind of get my name out there, do interviews, get let people know what type of person I am. And you know, I felt like it was a su- successful week and we're getting ready to uh, combine train now. Do, do you feel like the mo- the more important part of Senior Bowl week is, because people always talk about the practices, but do you feel it's that or it's – just the relatability and now having gone through all of the interviews and meeting teams, which do you think is more important? Yeah, I think it's the interviews uh, by far. I mean, practice in game is you know, uh, the key part, but really the interviews is how you present yourself. Uh, I mean, you're, the spotlight's on you from the day you walk in to the day the whole thing's over. So I would, I would say the interviews and uh, meeting all the, the coaches and GMs and scouts and just getting them getting your background, uh, getting to know, you know, your football knowledge. So, you know, the interviews are a very key part of that whole week. What uh, Did you get feedback, or do you get feedback during that week from any of the teams or the coaches? Uh, I mean, a, a little bit, but, I mean, most of it comes from, you know, the coaches. You know, we, I was with the Bengals, so most of it comes from them. And, uh, I mean, after interviews, guys might tell you you did a great job or you know, it was nice meeting you, you know, and, and they, would, they would, you know, speak to your agent or whatever, but, uh, it's not not really uh, not much, but just mostly from the you know from the team that you know had you on the field and the people in those days. Are the Bengals drafting Joe Burrow? Uh, I, I, we had, <laughs> we do. We I mean, we all know they are, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean if they if they pass up on the, I think that'd be a huge mistake. Um, you got to wear number eighteen. Yes, uh, sir. I, you got well, now you got to wear it at practice though, didn't you? Like yeah, it, it, at LSU, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I was at, I was in eighteen uh, all year in practice. Yeah, so but so this was the first time though for a game you got to wear it. So what was that like whenever Jim Nagy and the senior bowl people told you you were going to get to wear eighteen? Yeah, it was great. I mean, I just something I've been waiting on for a while. Uh, finally being able to wear it on game day, and uh, I mean, I remember when I was putting it on in the locker room, a lot of guys were confused, and I had to explain to multiple people what it meant, uh, you know, at LSU and uh, why why I was wearing it that day. Uh, he is Lloyd Cushenberry, former LSU center, uh, on Twitter at lcush79. Y'all give him a follow. Uh, the other thing that was kind of a wild story was like was your wingspan. You got like a six yeah. eleven wingspan. Like, I mean, we can all tell you got long arms. Did that? I mean, you're a pterodactyl. Did that surprise you even? Uh, no. I mean, I thought it was gonna be a little longer because you. I mean, the last time I got to check, I, I think it was about seven foot or seven one. So, uh, hopefully, uh, in the combine, I get a. A few more, a few more inches, but I thought it was gonna be longer. But I, I've, I've always had long arms, and uh, it, it, it didn't really surprise me. Did your arm shrink? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think I, I didn't stretch them out enough when they were, when they were doing it. <laughs> we got a couple more minutes here with Lloyd Cushenberry, a, a local guy from Dutchtown who uh, made his way to LSU, waited his turn, and man, did he show up big for the Tigers in the championship season. Um, what have you given yourself any time to reflect? On on what you and this team just accomplished, uh, a little bit. You know, I try to I try to uh, as much as I can when I have time. I try to just sit back and think about the first things we did. And, and it was this season, man. It was it was it was special. Like I can't even really explain it. And it's kind of really just starting to sink in that you know what we did. But man, it, it was wonderful. Have you since the since the championship game? Because the the thing that's a reality, Lloyd, is that in this town and in this state forever, you all have uh, – you're, you're deified. I mean, you have legendary status forever now, having won the championship and had that season. Have you tasted any of that yet, like going around town? Or, or has it just been I, – I, I guess it could just have been a whirlwind because you finished the season, then you're off to the Senior Bowl. Yeah, yeah, a lot of – I mean, things have been moving a lot uh, so fast. Uh, it kind of – Got a taste of it at the parade, uh, just sitting in there in the P-Mac and people going crazy, you know, standing up on the stage and just looking at all the fans, man. It's just to come out and support us. So a little taste of it at the parade. But, I mean, for the most part, I've been, I've been moving so much, been on the road so much, I haven't really, uh, you know, got a 
had a big taste of it. But I mean, coming back for pro day and whenever I get back to Baton Rouge, I, I look forward to that. Yeah. Where Where are you doing your combine training? Uh, Pensacola at okay. Expo. So Pensacola, and then back for pro day. Then then I guess combines before pro day. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. uh, I mean, I go to combine, and then uh, I either come back to Pensacola or go back to Baton Rouge and. And uh, get ready for pro day. Yeah. What's what is a, a day like? Walk me through what a day is like for you right now, getting ready for the combine. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's a full day, pretty much. It's like a nine to five. Uh, just got done with workout. So, in the morning, we eat breakfast at eight and have a workout at nine. Then uh, right after that workout, we we would run and lift, and then right after that, we would do position work. Uh, you know, some football drills. Then we eat lunch at twelve. And we come back at it at 2.30, run, lift, and uh, we usually done around 4.30, 5 o'clock. You're right, man. It It is a full day. You got your full-time job, man, but I'm sure you're doing what you want to be doing. Uh, a couple of more minutes. Sure. Lloyd Cushenberry is our guest on Twitter at LCush79. Let me ask you a few questions about this past season. Like, mm-hmm. the offense was so dominant. Like, yeah. And we all saw it unfold. But my guess is there was a point where you all knew – like you had something, like but even before we all did. When was that moment for you? Uh, I mean, I would say during spring ball, you know, uh, just coming in, coming in and executing that the way we did, the way we did, uh, the level we did with a new offense, uh, you know, new guys in there, and to, well, against a very talented defense. And our first scrimmage, we were lights out. So that's when we kind of knew we could do some special things and. I mean, this season after the Texas game, that's when it, it really, it really set in that you know we we are a dominant offense and we can take this thing a long way. Was there ever a time? You know, it's interesting too, Lloyd. Like I, I talked to to some some staffers before the the Peach Bowl. You yeah. know, just the, in the days leading up to that, uh, being there in Atlanta, and it was almost uncomfortable how confident they were. Like, yeah. did, well, see, you're, you're laughing because you know, and clearly you all knew how that was going to yeah. go. Like, was there ever a moment this year, a game, a team, where you're like, man, we need to bring it because this could be challenging? Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of games, I mean, I would say you know, the first game was Auburn. I mean, they came to play. It was great defense. Uh, I mean, we, we were confident throughout the whole season. And a few times throughout the season, you know, I would, I would talk to Sadiq and I would be like, man, I, I don't know. We, we were a little too loose. You know, and I, I didn't say nothing because I – I, mean, I knew what type of guys we had. They were, you know, we were flip switch. But uh, I mean, we always we we're a very confident group. We had fun off the field, but you know, when there was time, we knew when to uh, flip that switch and get the business go to work. So I mean, it, this it was a, gra- a crazy season, and, and the, the crazy thing about it, we never even mentioned uh, winning the national championship. We wanted to take it one game at a time, and uh, in, in not not one meeting did Coach O mention national championship we just tried to take one one game at a time and play the high standard of performance mm. give me a thought on miles next year uh, uh you've obviously got to see him more than than any of us have what kind of player are we going to see man he's miles miles you know he's he's going to do his thing man he's going to do his thing you know he's two years with learning behind joe uh i mean he's he's a confident guy you know we all he, he, we all know he has that arm i mean he has a lot of weapons uh, surrounding them, so I mean, Miles. I, mean, I look look for, look forward to Miles picking up with Joe left off. Great things there as well. Who takes your spot, sir? Who takes your spot? You know the the uh, the other half of the battery, man. Someone has to touch the oh, football yeah. every play. Who? I mean, is that is it is it Chase and Hines kicking inside and playing center? Yeah, for sure, Chase and Hines. Uh, I mean, we got both Chase and Hines and Charles Turner going to be starting for that spot. I mean, Chase is a guy, you know, he, he, he learned from me just like I, you know, sat back and watched Claps and Post, you know, do their thing and try to learn from them. So, I mean, I look forward to Chase, you know, he, he's doing his thing on the field and becoming a leader, stepping up big time in the, in the locker room. Well, where are you going to keep your ring? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I don't know yet. When it comes in, man, then I, I start thinking about that. Man, I have that thing on every stinking day. Like, <laughs> Doing burpees, have my ring. It wouldn't matter, man. I, I don't think I'd ever take it off, dude. Uh, congrats to you, man. Uh, you're you're going to – I mean, you and this squad, you're legends in, in the state forever, man. It's got to be an amazing feeling. So congrats to you on an awesome season.
continued success. Good luck through this combine prep, man. We appreciate a couple of minutes today. Yes, sir, no problem. Appreciate it.